Hey guys, what's going on? It's Patrick. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a good one. We're going to talk about how to fly private for less than $500. And before you guys are like, oh my gosh, Patrick's running a promo here. Patrick's talking about a company that sponsored him to say all this. I want to let you know that SetJet, the company I'm about to talk about, did not pay me to do any of this. In fact, I paid to go on the flight. I did my own flights. I'll show you guys that stuff. And I am a member of this company. Now, if you guys do are, are watching this set yet and you do want to sponsor a video, you call me right up. I'm right here because your product is, uh, well, we'll talk about what I think it is today. So first things first, guys, I do want to talk about flying private. Now, obviously flying private, flying commercial, whatever, it's marginal in terms of time. But for a lot of people, it's, uh, it's about a couple different things. Number one, it's about the opportunity cost. You know, imagine a scenario where you're spending you know, you got to get down and back to an area and you need to get to a meeting and you're spending two or three hours in an airport with TSA layovers. Then you finally get to the area. You finally board. It takes 45 minutes to board the plane. Then you get off and you got to go through the exit all the way through the airport again. You got to get an Uber, whatever it is. It does take some time. And for people that, you know, schedule their day out and they're people that are looking at their time based off their opportunity costs, sometimes flying private is more economical. Now, I'm not trying to sit here and say that this is cheap by any means, but for the cost of a jet, typically $3,000 an hour, for this flight that I took, which cost under $500, I wanna show you the experience that I had with SetJet. So first things first, I just wanna walk you through SetJet and how my experience was. The first thing that happened is we walked into this great terminal, this white purple aesthetic. I was literally the only one in there. I was going with a business partner of mine to Vegas and uh, it was just us in there and they had water out for us, snacks, fridge, TV. We were greeted uh, by a great group of people. And uh, after that, we got sat with one other gentleman. He was older, he always flew on set jet. So I got to talk to him a little bit about, you know, the experience that he had and he seemed to really enjoy it. Um, and they took us from this terminal onto a golf cart in which we rode this golf cart just down the street, on, literally through the gates onto the tarmac and actually running right next to the jet, which is super cool because it was my first time flying private in this case. And then uh, once we got on the jet, we were greeted with champagne and it was just the three of us on the jet. The jet fit 16 people. This was a jumbo jet, really large jet. Uh, so we got on, we got to be able to, you know, have snacks, hang out, you know, sit where we wanted, relax, recline, the whole nine yards. So we flew down into Vegas, got off, literally hopped right in the car. We had a car waiting for us in the terminal and went right to the uh, hotel. All in all, I was able to leave my house in Scottsdale, drive to the airport, which takes about 20 minutes, get on the plane 15 minutes later, fly for 40 minutes, land and get to the airport and checked in all in under two hours. It was a really fast experience and that's just not possible with commercial. And uh, in this case, the next day, which this happened on a Sunday. The next day, Monday night, I flew back on Southwest. For an extra $100, for a total of 500, I was able to fly private. Obviously, airlines right now are getting more expensive, so that's marginal in the cost discrepancies now. It'll obviously be much more economical to fly commercial most of the time, but with COVID and shortages of workers, that's what's happening. So let me run you through this website really quick, if I can pull this up here and uh, show you guys my flight on SetJet. So this is my past flight. This is the flight I took. It was flight 21051673 from Scottsdale to McCarran, which is Vegas, on Sunday, May 16th at 12.15, uh, and we landed at 1.15 or whatever the case was. As you can see, there's my passenger name, and that was it. That was the flight. Now, I do want to talk about you know, booking a flight with SetJet. So if I were to go one way and let's say I want to fly out on Friday in the morning from Scottsdale, it says we have a temporary airport closure. Um, so we're going to need uh, through early August, please try a different airport in Scottsdale. So let's see, is there a different Deer Valley and let's go to Vegas. Please try late afternoon. So I'll try late afternoon Deer Valley to Vegas. Sorry, this flight is sold out. So this is actually good that this happened. This is my first uh, piece of, you know, my mind on this. First of all, was the experience great? Uh, absolutely. The experience was great with SetJet. The experience that I had, the way I was greeted, 
The ease of everything was fantastic. However, when I'm talking about a review and being honest and transparent for like a zero to 10 rating, zero meaning I'm not going ever again, 10 meaning this is perfect of the perfect, that's what I'm taking into account. The experience, A1, 10. Now coming back into this, this is what I find from time to time. If you're trying to fly out in the next week, it's, it's pretty tough to do so. But let's say I wanna fly out at the end of July, early afternoon from Deer Valley to you know, McCarran. Uh, it says, please try late afternoon. So let's see, that must be when the flight's taken off. At, say, 4.05 with no additional members. Boom, that works. So I just set up my flight for Friday, July 30th. I can hit continue and boom, I can go through all of this and it'll show me what it'll cost. So the fare is 340, my taxes and all that sort of stuff, 46640, and that is getting literally on a private jet. Now, this kind of comes into my review of this. First of all, I do like the website. It's fairly easy in order to book. It's fairly easy on all this sort of stuff. But the one thing that's troubling is the fact that there's just not unlimited availability. This is not commercial. So you have to pick and choose your days. As you can see, if I picked a random like Tuesday, they don't often go Scottsdale to Vegas on Tuesday, early afternoon, Deer Valley to McCarran, you'll see you have to try it Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday. So they only do it on specific days, which is obviously a downside. And I have to take that into account with my overall review. Um, secondly, keep in mind that uh, to become a member of this SetJet platform, I'm not sure if this is going to show it here. It is a $99 one-time security fee. It is $99.95 per month to then get these fares, which are under $500 one way. So they fly from Scottsdale to Vegas, Scottsdale to LA, Scottsdale to Orange County, Scottsdale to San Diego. They fly Vegas to San Francisco, meaning I could take a Scottsdale jet to Vegas and San Francisco for about a thousand bucks total, if you're following along there. So obviously a good West Coast side, and then they do have seasonal flights to Cabo or Aspen for a little bit more money, thousand bucks or 1700 bucks all the way up to Aspen. So pretty cool there. And uh, I'm bringing all this into account in my overall sort of review. SetJet is newer. You can read the about us if you guys want to come on their website. Again, it's just setjet.com. So let's keep talking about my overall review of this. First things first, experience, safety, jet itself, uh, terminal. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I think they are perfect in what they are doing in that nature. The second, I want to say value, which is price uh, of the jet, of the membership, and of, the, of course, security deposit. I can't really rip them on the security deposit. I would rather be safe than sorry, so I don't disagree with them there. Uh, price of the jet, 450 one way. I'll, I'll give you an idea of this. If I were to charter my own jet for six, it would cost the six of us about $3,000 from Scottsdale to Vegas. That's what generally the quotes are when I'm looking for jets. So if that's the case, I divide that by six, it's about $500. So in terms of value, it's about at par with value. However, finding six guys that want to go at the same time that day is not as easy. So for that reason, I will give it a nine out of 10 on value. I think the only thing that I would have a rip on is the fact that I could technically charter my own jet for around the same cost. However, it's the leisure of finding those people that's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. So that's why I'll give it a nine out of 10. I'm just not going to give them a perfect score there. 99.95 membership fee. I don't disagree with it. That's how they probably keep their charges down and that's how they keep us in the system. So I'm going to give that a perfect 10 out of 10. The only thing that I disagree with is if a person sets up a, let's say a flight. They wanna do a monthly membership or not a monthly membership. They just wanna do one flight. They can do a one-time membership for $100 and then they can do a security deposit for $100. Then they can buy their flight and that's it. They do it one time. However, now if they wanted to re-engage again, a year down the line, they have to do a, a re-security fee. They have to do the security check again. So I'm not saying that they should get away with that because then people wouldn't ever pay their monthly membership and I get it, they're trying to run a business. But what I am saying is maybe they set it up in a way where a certain period of time, they're allowed to keep that uh, security deposit. 
meaning that security, you know, run check. So say if they did a one-time subscription in, in May and then they want to do it again in September, maybe if it's within a six month window that they re-up the subscription, they don't have to redo the security. I don't know. I'm going to give them an eight out of 10 on that sort of thing. Now, finally, flight availability, which we went through on the overall website. I'm going to give that a 6.5 out of 10. And you might say that's pretty, you know, bad, but let's be honest. You can barely ever find a flight that you exactly want. That is where it is a discrepancy from a true private experience. A true private experience is texting your jet guy and saying, I want to leave at this time on this day. And every single time he's going to say no problem because it is your jet. This is not your jet. You're sharing this jet. So that causes discrepancies. They obviously don't have a massive fleet either. This is a very small company. But with that said, it is still very neat that I can go Monday or I'm sorry, Wednesday, Friday or Sunday from Scottsdale to Vegas or other days to San Diego or LA or wherever the case may be. But with that also said, I do got to keep in mind that um, it's very often that you're running into some sort of issue, whether the flight was full or you need to go at a different time or it's not available that day. Very often, in fact, more often than not, you're going to run into that. And for those reasons, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of 10 on availability. So with all of that said, drum roll, please. What do I think I'm going to give SetJet as an overall company, as an overall experience? I think I'm going to give them a solid 8.5 out of 10. Of course, they're 10 with regard to their experience and with regard to their price and their value, nine out of 10. But uh, with that availability pattern, that does drop a little bit. So I'll give them an eight and a half out of 10 total. I think that's a very fair rating. SetJet, if you're watching this, feel free to reach out to me for more videos. We can do more in-depth review videos on the channel where I bring my camera into the jet for a more immersive experience if you so choose. But other than that, I just wanted to share this because I think a lot of people are looking for a private experience. Unfortunately, this is only in the West, which does lead back into that six and a half rating. There's not a lot of other membership options. Would love to see them open up places like Utah and Texas and all that sort of stuff. And I'm sure as they grow, they will, uh, but they only have so much marketability here in the West. So we'll see how that goes. But overall, I did ex uh, experience what I thought was a great experience and I did love what I had. And uh, I'll let you guys kind of chime in in the comments what you think. So if you guys do uh, want to get into SetJet, be sure to give them a call and let them know Patrick Kenny sent you. And uh, if you're in Scottsdale area, Vegas area, um, you know, San Diego, whatever it is, be sure to give them a call, set it up that way, let them know Patrick Kenny sent you. And I'll be greatly, greatly appreciated for that because they will eventually give me a free flight. I think after five people say that. So, you know, God knows if that'll ever happen, but if it does, I appreciate you guys so much for just stating my name. Okay. So with that said, hopefully this was a very transparent review of my experience. I did enjoy SetJet and uh, I will be flying SetJet again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit the like button if you want more videos like this. Click the subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video.